everybody and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now in this episode we're going to be doing something very important for all you PvPers and all you people that love to make bases. Which are machines that slow people down. Which is very, very useful. I pretty much thought of quite a few ideas but these were the best two I could really think of. That Really? Now we might as well go through this one first. So we've got a nice normal floor around here so you can walk normally, lovely, nice all the way through. But, if you press slow, it changes the floor into soul sand. Which is quite annoying because we all know how slow you go on soul sand, which is very, very annoying. So let's go along here. There you go, go back here. And we press normal. And we'll see that it turns back into iron blocks. Really nice, simple one this is. So pretty much all you need is trail of redstone going to pistons and the piston layout for this is literally like that so as you can see piston, soul sand, iron, air then normal piston you then got all the redstone around here which goes to the top button like that really really simple redstone there is no simpler really than what you can do there is the one repeater here but that's just to make sure that the pulse goes far enough that's pretty much it with all that redstone so let's have a look at the next one. Now, the next one does work on a spam circuit, so it will cause your PC to lag quite a bit. So let's have a look at this one then. So we activate it, and as you see, all the doors that were on the side now open and close really, really annoyingly. So if you walk through this, it will let you go through only one door at a time, slowing you down even more than the soul sand, which is very, very annoying. So if you see here, every single one door, if it's not one door, it's two doors, then it literally is just slowing you down, it's really annoying. And the result for this, surprisingly, is also very simple. Just go back here. We have a very, very small kind of clock here, which I'll teach you how to make in a minute. All you need is literally some torches, one redstone dust, and a block of your choice. So I might as well give you the exact number. Yeah, so you need three redstone torches, one redstone dust, and whatever your block of choice is, you need four of those. So, they go into a repeater, which is on the third tick. Very important, because if it's on the maximum tick, then because this thing is spamming very, very fast, if it's on the maximum tick, it literally just have it as really, really long. If it's on the first tick, yeah, it'll be very, very spammy. But this pretty much controls how spammy it is from the actual machine, which is really, really cool. So in order to make that circuit, all you need to do is get one block, cover it like with torches like that, put blocks on top of those torches, like that, and there we go, put the rest of the top, and that's the machine. Really, really simple machine. And pretty much from that, all you do, get a piston going out. As I said, the further back the tick is, the slower it will be. That is, but pretty much that goes up to here, and it goes to all the redstone on top of here, which then links all to all the doors which is really nice and the other bit is literally just a redstone torch going pretty much to the other side to a redstone lever that turns as soon as you flip the redstone lever it automatically turns the torch off and make it so this is the only power source so this is, these are both very very simple designs but they are both very annoying because they slow you down quite a bit now in my view this one is the cool one because you press that button and the whole floor changes it's just really, really awesome. You can press the other button, and the whole floor changes again. Now, if I see if I can get both the floor change and button press in the same kind of picture, because it's quite fast. Okay, yeah, okay, there you go. So, as you can see, it is literally instantly. It does it straight away. There is pretty much no delay when it changes it. So, see if I can put it back. Okay, so there you go. You can see bottom left of the screen, and you can see straight away. It changes very, very quickly. So if someone, say for example, you wanted to set that up via a pressure plate, you wouldn't need these things. You'd literally just set it so the redstone would go straight to the pressure plate. You might need a few repeaters, but to be honest, you don't need to worry about that. So all you do is have it so, say for example, there'd be a pressure plate here. You trip over it and then make it would activate this, which would then slow them down. And you'll be at, the, be at the end with a bow and arrow shooting them, which is very, very cool. And then you literally just press normal, and the whole thing goes back to normal. Very, very nice redstone, and it slows them down, which is great, because it gives you more time to react and prepare for the attack. So, yeah. Hopefully, this has been very helpful for you PvPers and base makers. 
And until next time, bye!